here we have a leopard gecko that actually belongs to my daughter. We're gonna build a tank for her and give her lots of enrichment and fun places to hide and just fun things to do. So this is actually our gecko background made for a 20 gallon long tank. This one we cut down a little to fit into this 15 gallon tank. It has an, a lot of really nice detail to it. It even has a bowl right here on it, which is great. So if you have a background that you just really like, but it's not quite the right size that you need, just let us know and we can cut it down to the size you need. You can just put it in the comment section at checkout. If we can't do it, we'll always contact you and we'll try to help you out and figure out the best way to make it work for you. Installing it right into the top of the tank. We cut it down to exactly the size that we needed for this tank. So I just gotta shimmy it a little and it fits perfectly. So you can leave it as simple as this. You can also use our color kit and go along the side and add some silicone. You can add substrate. You can glue it into the back. For this, I'm just going to add a little bit of substrate to the bottom so it's not straight glass. There we go. So here, this is one of our river stones. And I'm actually gonna turn this into a humid hide for the gecko. To do that, all I'm gonna do is take some dried moss that I have right here, and I'm just gonna simply glue it to the top of this. Just gonna add a little glue here. And then I'm gonna put it in here. And then as this dries, you can wet the moss and it'll stay nice and humid inside of here. So we're gonna let that dry for a moment. You can leave this background just like this. You can add some rocks, some other decorations that you wanted to. Because we have this really nice detail right here that sticks out this way, it actually leaves a void back here. I'm just going to carve a little hole right here and I'm gonna turn this into a hide itself. This is the area that I really want her to stay in, but I don't mind her going to this side. If you don't want your pet to go to this side, you can easily fill it with the spray foam. They can't get to that side, they can only stay on this side. It also has a great viewing window, so I can still see back there and check on her when she's not there. If you have a more shy pet, then you might not see it as often, especially leopard geckos since they're nocturnal. You're not really gonna see her during the day, but she's going to love having this to hide in. Just a sharp straight edge knife. This is a bony knife. This is what we use a lot here at the shop. I'm gonna decide where I want my opening to be. And I'm thinking I wanna cut this right here off. And all of our products are pretty easy to cut. So now we have this little opening into this little cave area. We can put it just back in our background or in our tank. And now she can go under here. And it has a little tunnel and then she'll come back here and hang out probably most of the day. We'll just move our bit of substrate back. Okay, and now that my humid hide rocks moss has dried in here, I'm just gonna create a little opening in this one as well. Decide where I want the opening to be. We'll wet that here in a minute. 
And then it already has a bowl. You can use it for water. You can use it for the calcium powder for them. Um, you can put their bugs in it, but they're gonna come out. So it's kind of up to you. Just keep an eye on them. Let's see how she likes it.